let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and take a little thing, um, hair thing, and just put this back until I'm ready. Use the Scandinavia Primer Spray. No way would I normally use this much, but because I'm using LA Girl and it's a uh, cheaper, I don't want no irritations to my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and just let that soak in. That yes, it's a lot, but like I said, a primer is like a barrier between your skin and the foundation. For my eye primer today, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer. Use this, uh, what is it? It's called the Glam Palette 18 Color Eyeshadow. Trio right here. What are these three? One, two, three. See, each section has three um, that you're supposed to use, that you can use. They're supposed to work together. So I'm gonna use one, two, three, okay? Transition color right here. All I know is I'm probably going to have to dip uh, quite a few times to get the color to show. My eyes go back and forth. It's because I'm looking at the screen and I'm looking at the mirror. So, gotta look at a couple different angles. All righty. That appears to be good. The next color I'm going to be using is this right here. The one on the outer. And I'm gonna put this in the crease as well and bring it up just a smidgen more. Bring it up just a little bit more. In the crease, but it goes up just a little bit further. See that? Just a little bit further. In the crease but also you want to bring it up place it in the crease but you also want to bring it up above the crease it's like fading starting to crease and then you slowly bring it up slowly bring it up And see with blending you just gotta keep going and going and going until you eventually get that desired look you want that's all blend it, it takes a lot i mean sometimes you just gotta blend like there's no tomorrow baby that looks pretty good that foundation looks good meaning the out uh, um the uh, eyeshadow foundation looks pretty good meaning the base that i've done it looks good next next i'm going to take this color in the this color over here that's in a different little trio um i just need this color right here and i'm just going to put it on a smaller brush just to deepen up the crust the crust and deepen up the crease 
just a little bit just a little bit give it a little bit more of a color just to deepen it just a bit so you want to take a smaller brush just to give it more color give it a little bit more definition that's what i'm trying to say definition that's it not a cut crease, just a little definition. All right, and then next thing I'm going to take this color right here just to blend out those harsh edges. This color, this is the last color in that trio that I'm going to be using. I've used the other two, now I'm going to use this one, which is, again, the last color in this trio that I went for. I like to load up both sides of the brush. Both sides of the brush. Okay. And here we go. Then I'm going to use the other side. I like to pat real fast just to help keep that color down or to pack that color on. Both sides of the brush. Pack up both sides of the brush. I hope it's not too noisy on that end when this gets edited because, like I said, my son is making so much noise. I don't know if you all can hear him, but, you know, I didn't want to do a voiceover. I was going to do this live. Uh, so, if you can hear him, again, I apologize. And if you can hear my husband doing whatever it is he's doing up there. I apologize. All right. I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to put it under the eye, under my eye too. Same thing. I like to load up both sides, both sides. And I just, I just put it under the lash line right down here. Honestly speaking, this isn't too bad, man. I think this has prompted me to go to Walgreens and get me a whole um, thing of um, uh, drugstore makeup, like some CoverGirl or makeup and get all of their stuff. I think I might do that next weekend. I might. I mean, I might do that because this actually isn't too bad so far. We'll see once I'm done, but, you know. I know I've heard drugstore really stepped up their game, which I know that they have because I've seen some good product. And uh, I, I read and hear a lot about the new foundations, and I think that I'm going to start trying them. Because there's a lot of people out there that, that like drugstore, and there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. And... Um, you know, saves you a whole bunch of money, that's for sure. I used right here. I 
I just want to place that a little bit further underneath of that. Last color. Just to deepen that out. The LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner. Li LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that. Applicator looks like that. Okay, we wanna go ahead and do this and get this line going. You gotta keep that eye steady. Try to keep that thing open as long as possible when you're doing this. I like really, really, really small lines. I do. I like my lines to be super small. I'm not one of them thick girls, unless I'm going out somewhere like I did on New Year's. I mean, like my New Year's Eve look where it was a lot thicker. Again, we're going to use this Perfect Curve Voluming Mascara in black. Look at that wand. Can you see that wand? Look at that wand, nice and curvy. The curve to hug those lashes is called. Anyway, they call their cells making it curve so it can simulate your lashes because your lashes are curl. And I'm going to use these LA Flirt Lashes. I got this color in chestnut because this is about the closest thing that I could find in the store today. And I wasn't going to different family dollars. I got what was there, period. So here we go. My Luxie brush from the Boxy Lux collection. All righty. A few pumps. All right. And I did not read to see if this was matte or not but it is what it is it doesn't matter all righty let's go ahead and start see that wow wow oh 
totally, totally. I'll try not to take my foundation too far under my eyes because I like to add concealer. And I don't want to take it all the way up to the um, to the lash line. And you want to bring your foundation all the way to the hairline. Push it, press it back into the hairline and into the ears. I know people who put it on their ears. I do not do that. I do bring it down here, though. Get my beauty blender and blend it out some. Yeah, I would never, I'm not going to use another layer. This foundation really is radiant. Look at the little glow to it. Oh, that is so cute. That is so cute. It has some glow. Oh, let me find out I done found me another foundation. Shoot. Oh, man. Ah. Well, anyway, it says the LA colors and it comes like this. Look, I done poured way too much. I done shook it upside down. Oh, my goodness. I'm just use what's in the lid here. Dip it ease. Dip that thing in there. Just swirl it around to get that brush full of powder to set. About like that. But then I shake off a lot of it, most of it. I'm gonna shake that powder off. Take it, pat, 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 pat. And this is in neutral, like I said earlier. This is in color neutral, neutral. And yeah, I just pat it, meaning I'll just press it in, into the skin. I press it. I don't swipe it and swipe it, cause that's if you swipe it, that's like taking the um uh, powder away. You just put it on and then you swipe in it. It's like you did it for nothing. So you gotta press it into the skin. Press it into the skin. I really hope y'all can see because like I said, it's this natural light. And I want to use it before I have to turn on my ring light. We're going on for the concealer. Concealer. Which I got medium, LA girl. I mean, I keep saying LA girl, LA colors. Um, conceal it. Cover and correct concealer. Medium. Oh, I got the applicator like this. All right, let's go for the orange. Right, just right in the crease though. I mean, under the, uh, right here. Where I have those dark circles. And normally I would use it like above here and around my mouth. All where there are dark spots is normally where I would use the corrector uh, color. And the corrector color is orange. And the color that you want to use under your eyes to conceal. Because that corrects. This, con this conceals. Hence the name concealer. I don't like a whole bunch of concealer under my eye. I don't. Although maybe I should because I got this aging, mature skin. But, you know. I still don't like it. And I go with my finger. It's nothing like finger as the best blending tool there is for your face. Finger is the best because it warms up the foundation and it helps it to melt into the skin better. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to get my brush and my blender, my beauty blender, but this is, um, what I like to do.
pardon moi for the crazy facial expressions, but it is what it is. It's just a natural reaction when you're working on your eye area. That face comes to everybody that does eye makeup and they freaking lying because that's just a natural reaction. I mean, yeah, they may, they may be um, used to it and may not do it as long, but it's still the first reaction when you're putting on something on your eye, under your eye, or your mascara. Because you it's, it's like, it's that face you make when you like, oh, like you gotta be really careful. It's that be careful face. <laughs> like when you're doing eyeshadow, you don't make that face. But like your mascara, cause you know you gotta be careful. You don't wanna get it on nothing, another part of your face or your under eye concealer. You know, you don't want to do that the wrong way. I put some of that same powder, the same LA Girls powder under my eyes too. You want the dip. See, I'm not trying to do it a whole bunch. Just pressing it in, just. Yeah, I'm not trying to really do a heavy, heavy bake. That's why I'm pressing it in more so that it can, it won't take as long. LA Colors Browy Wowie Brow Pencil in dark. Is it dark? Yeah, and dark. So it has a little spoolie on the end. Okay, so we'll use that. And this side, which has the brow product. So first, you always got to brush them things up. You got to brush them, brush them, brush them things into place. All right. And you want to, what time is it? Oh. Still got plenty of time before we out of here. Anyway, I put it up to about that much. Okay, I put it up to about that much. And I will. I'm not gonna go in depth into the to this part because I have a eyebrow tutorial coming out in about a week, as well as a eyelash. Um, tutorial video coming out in about a week so I'm just gonna do this and that's it I'm not really gonna explain because you know you just again I said before just put little short strokes short strokes short strokes and fill in the brows to my liking to make it look that is pretty that one didn't give me no problems today. Not a none. See, brushing it blends it out. See how, like, just blends it so that the powder, I mean, the pencil doesn't look so harsh. It looks like a nice, soft, even amount. You just want to go underneath the brow to draw a little line. And hope that it's straight. A steady hand. Strokes, small strokes, if you can't do it. There you go. And and it looks like that, it looks like that. You all see how um, concealer just cleans it up? Look how it just makes it like a perfectly sharp, crisp line. And that's what you're looking for when you're doing eyebrow. You want it to be sharp and crisp, right? Especially for the people that like to draw their eyebrows on, you know, with the outlines and everything, which I don't do. But I think I might do a video showing that I do that every now and then. Normally, I just fill in what my mama gave me and uh, leave it at that. I don't try to add no extra and all that. Like a little tail, I might try to extend the tail, but that's about the gist of how far I go. And then take the finger just to blend it out a little bit more because your finger will warm it up. 
and help it to melt a little bit more into the skin. I'm too busy talking and dancing and stuff off camera. I'm losing all my natural light. Okay. Instead of um, brushing away, brushing away that uh, little concealer that I put on, I'm going to use this. And um, I already wiped off the powder and just press it in a little bit more so that I don't have to wipe it so they can melt more into the skin. Yeah, it's already basically already um, set anyway. Alrighty, so unfortunately, I, well, it's not really unfortunately, but um, I was trying to do this whole thing with the natural sunlight coming through the window. But yeah, so I had to turn on my ring light. So I need to go ahead and use the um, contour and highlight palette from them that I got. Right in those cheekbones. See that? Right about there. Okay. And let me just add some to the jawline. Right down here. Normally I would go ahead and do that in a three, but you know, the three. The contour three where you take it right here and you would take and bring it down down here and here that makes it three see one two three one two three that's what you want to do Bring a little bit more color to my face. Go and do the nose with the contour. Want that thing to look a little bit more slender. Slender. My blushy brush. Apples of the cheek. You want powdery, but okay, not bad. Go with this highlight that was in that same um, contour and that same contour and highlight palette. I'm going to use this, what they call a highlight. It's a lot, but I'm figuring you need a lot because it's powdery. Tap some of it off though. And you want that to be right here. Mm. Better than I thought. Oh, shit. Better than I thought. Okay. Okay with the highlight. All right. Okay. Okay. So you want it to be right above the cheekbone. I've taken my way up here before, but, you know, whatever. Because I do's what I like. As long as it looks good, I do's what I like. Shit. That's glowy. This is, more, this is more than what I thought, for real. <gasps> mm -mm. Oh my goodness, look at that glow. Look at that freaking glow. Blend that and blend that out a little bit more. Cause that's a little bit too blinding. I'm gonna put it just above the eyebrow so it can look like there's a little glow up on the side of your face. Are you seeing this LA Colors highlight? I had no idea to expect this. Shook. 
And I'm gonna take that same brush, no more product, just what I was on there originally, which may not be nothing, but what I do is I just take the leftover brush and then just um, blend this whole face together. Like, just take this and whatever product was left on the brush, I just, you know, blend my whole face together so they can melt together. That's it. That's all. So then I can just, you know, make it look like it's one step. See, and adds a little bit more color to the face for me. So, color setting spray. Give it a shake and let's spray it, spray it on up. Final, final step, which is me applying this um, matte liquid lip color in Fierce. LA colors also, so let's do it. Okay, and this is the final look. Alrighty, let's just take this down. Really.